गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द एम इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रिपरेशन नॉन क्लीचर एंड द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द एम इन सो वॉट आर द केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द एम इन सो वी विल स्टार्ट विद द बेसिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द एम इन दैट वाई एम इन आर बेसिक बाई द नेचर वेन यू विल सी दैट वाट टाइप ऑफ बेस इट इज the system does not carry any of the hydroxyl group so that is not a arginous base that is not going to liberate the hydroxyl ion amine is a substance which is electron rich which is carrying the electron pair on the nitrogen so it is a electron donor and having electron donor nature the system will be base lewis base or you can call that is the proton acceptor or the bronsted lowry base so amines are the either lewis or the bronsted lowry Base according to the condition. Now we are going to discuss about the basicity. Before discussing about the basicity, you must have to know that when there is a plus I effect, that is the electron donating group, that increases the basic strength. And in the case when there is a electron withdrawing group, that means the minus I effect, that decreases the basic strength. So on that basis, we are going to discuss about the basic strength of the different amines, that is the primary, secondary, tertiary, and aromatic amines so here we are going to see the basic strength of the amine under gaseous medium under gaseous medium the system will behave like a electron donor so what is the condition in this one that is the ammonia when you will see only hydrogens are there with the nitrogen and if only hydrogens are there there is no any electron donating and neither any electron accepting group so there is no minus i no plus i effect and whatever the electron density is there on the nitrogen that will remain same whatever the basic strength is there for the nitrogen that will remain same but when you will see the primary amine there is a alkyl group and alkyl group is considered as a electron donating group is a species which generates the plus i effect and because of the plus i effect the electron density on the nitrogen will increase that is the region for the basic strength so with the greater electron density the system will be more basic so the primary amine is more basic than the ammonia now we are reaching to the secondary amine this one was the primary amine and this one is the secondary amine having two alkyl group what about the secondary amine secondary amines have two alkyl group having greater electron donating tendency having greater electron density on the nitrogen having greater plus i effect and this is the region why the secondary amine is considered to be more basic than the primary because it has two alkyl group two electron donating group so the basicity of the secondary amine is greater than the primary amine what about the tertiary there are three alkyl groups there are three electron donating group and having three electron donating group the system must have the greater electron density on the nitrogen which makes it most basic among the primary secondary and tertiary along with ammonia but what about the enlil enlil is also a primary system but that is a primary aromatic system the benzene having tendency to withdraw the electron that generates the plus i effect that generates the minus i effect and because of both the two effects the electron density on the nitrogen will become lesser and having lesser electron density the aniline will be the least basic by the nature so when you will arrange each of the compounds you will find that the aniline is the least basic that it will be ammonium then primary secondary and tertiary amine in gaseous medium then this is the sequence of the basic strength aniline is the least basic then it will be ammonia then primary secondary and tertiary amines then this is the basic strength of the different amines in the gaseous medium now we are going to see the basic strength in the aqueous medium what is the difference between aqueous and gaseous medium in the gaseous medium system we have like a lewis base that is the electron donor and in the aqueous medium that we have like a bronsted lowry base that means that is the proton acceptor and proton accepting property will be displayed in the case when the solvation is there that means in this case only inductive effects were affecting the basic strength but now it will be the inductive effect along with the solvation effect so we are going to see the basic strength of the methyl amine that means the amines getting 
carrying methyl group. Here, other different methyl amine, primary, secondary, and tertiary having one methyl group, two methyl group, and three methyl group. Now, in this condition, we will see two effects that is the solvation effect and the inductive effect. The solvation effect we are going to see in terms of the hydrogen bonding that how many hydrogen bondings are there. So, in this case, there are two hydrogen bonding and one plus I effect by generated by the alkyl group. Surely, the alkyl group is increasing the basic strength of the system. In this case, there are two alkyl groups that means they are generating. 2 plus I effect and only one hydrogen which is directly attached with the nitrogen so there is only single hydrogen bonding so one solvation effect or one hydrogen bonding and in the last case even the 3 plus I effects are there but there is no any hydrogen bonding so now we are comparing the first one when you will see on the basis of the inductive effect, surely the secondary one is more basic than the primary because there are two alkyl groups in the case of the secondary which is generating the electron density on the nitrogen. But when you will see the hydrogens, there is only one hydrogen in the case of the secondary and there are two hydrogens that is the two hydrogen bond forming hydrogen bond on the primary one. But when you will see the size of the compound that is quite small. That means the prime one hydrogen bonding is also capable to dissolve the material. So there is not much difference in their solvation capacity. That is the solvation capacity of the primary methylamine and the secondary methylamine. So this factor is not very effective. The most effective factor is the inductive effect. And you can see the secondary system has the greater inductive effect, the greater positive I effect. And this is the reason why the secondary amine is more basic than the primary amine. Now see the secondary and tertiary, which one is more basic? When you will see the inductive effect, surely the tertiary has the three inductive effect, one more than the secondary one, which have only two inductive effect. But in the case of tertiary, there is no hydrogen bonding. That means the solvation tendency is not there, size is bulky, so that will not dissolve easily with the system. So the solvation effect is very, very weak in the case of the tertiary system. Where in the case of secondary system, it is quite strong. And this is the reason why the secondary system is more basic than the tertiary one. So the secondary is more basic than the primary one. Secondary is also more basic than the secondary, tertiary one. You can say the secondary is the most basic. What's about the primary with tertiary? When you will see in terms of the alkyl groups, there are three alkyl groups. And in the case of primary, only one alkyl group. So surely tertiary is more basic than the primary one. But in terms of the hydrogen bonding, you can see that there are two hydrogen bonding that is providing the heavy solvation effect, whereas the tertiary system have no any hydrogen bonding, no any solvation effect. And if the solvation effect is not there, surely the basic strength will become very, very weak in the case of the tertiary. But even though that is not much difference in between the basic strength of the primary and tertiary. Now we will see that what is the effect of these of the alkyl groups as an inductive effect. When you will see the alkyl groups inductive effect, alkyl group is not known for their strong electron donating tendency. That is not a species which generates a very strong plus I effect. Surely that is not capable to generate the plus I effect such is strong. But when you will see the specific methyl group, this is the smallest alkyl group. That means among the alkyls, this is the weakest inductive effect causing a species. So in the case of the methylamine, the tertiary methylamine, the system is very weak electron donors. So whatever the inductive effect is generated by the methyl group to increase the basic strength of the system, that does not become greater than the effect generated by the solvation effect generated by the hydrogen bonding of the primary amine. So in this way, we find that the primary amine is also more basic than the tertiary. So when you will see the overall, the methyl amines, the secondary is the most basic than primary, then tertiary. So in the case of the methyl amine in aqueous medium, the secondary compound is most basic and tertiary the least basic compound on the basis of the inductive effect, on the basis of the solvation effect. Now we are going to see for the ethyl amine, what is the sequence of the basic strength in the case of the ethyl amine. Here are the different 
eighth elements the primary one secondary one and tertiary one here you can see that the primary one have only one inductive effect plus i effect two hydrogen bonding the secondary ones have two inductive effect one hydrogen bonding and tertiary one have the three inductive effect and one for zero hydrogen bonding just like the previous one just like the methyl amine now in this case when you will discuss again you will find that having two alkyl group and a hydrogen bonding the secondary amine will be more basic than the primary amine and it was in the previous case and similarly the secondary amine is more basic than the tertiary amine having two alkyl group and a hydrogen bonding which is not available in the case of the tertiary amine the only problem is that that is the primary and tertiary in the previous case i have said as the methyl group is a weak electron donating group so the tertiary methyl amine is not capable to impact to provide the impact on the system to make it most basic more basic than the primary one actually but in this case when you will see the nature of the alkyl group it is a stronger electron donor than the methyl systems the methyl systems were very small so the inductive effect whatever generated by the methyl system that was very weak so they are not they were not capable to generate such effect but in this case having greater size of the alkyl on the tertiary system as well as on the primary system the tertiary system becomes more basic than the primary one and this is the only difference in the basic strength of these bases so you can say that the secondary is more basic that is tertiary and then its primary that means the secondary is the most basic and the primary is the least basic in the case of the ethyl amine under aqueous medium that this is the basic strength of the amine under gaseous medium as well as under aqueous medium now we are going to see the carbon amine reaction one of the reaction which is used for the identification of the primary amine whether the compound is primary amine or not that can be identified with the help of the carbon amine reaction so in this carbon amine reaction when primary amine is treated with chloroform and potassium hydroxide then in these of the condition it forms alkyl isocyanide having foul smell that is highly unpleasant smell and that is suggesting the presence of the primary amine the carbon amine reaction is only given by the primary amine secondary and tertiary amine can't so the carbon amine reaction so this reaction is used for the identification of the primary amines now the reaction with the nitrous acid what happens when it is treated with the nitrous acid this is the primary amine rnh when it is treated with the nitrous acid as i know in presence of halo acid it forms r n2 x that is called the diazonium salt but when you will see the diazonium salt of the aliphatic systems they are not as stable as that of the aromatic system because in the case of the aromatic system there is a resonance and due to the resonance stabilization the system becomes stable but in this case there is no any resonance available for the system and this is the reason why in presence of water is it easily changes in the form of the alcohol which is already available in the form of the different acids so the amine on treatment with nitrous acid in it turns in the form of the primary alcohol and this is the way not only primary alcohol other alcohols may also be on the this is the way for the formation of alcohol from amine now we are going to see the hinzberg test in your book it is written reaction with aryl sulfonyl halide this is the test this is the identification test for the primary secondary and tertiary amine that means if you will have to identify whether your compound is primary amine secondary amine or tertiary amine you can go through this reaction so this is the test for the primary secondary and tertiary amine when the amine is treated with aryl sulfonyl halide it will form the product if the product is soluble with alkali it will be a primary amine but in the case of the secondary one 
it will not be soluble remain insoluble or dissolving neutral medium so it will be a secondary medium but in the case of tertiary amine we find that it is soluble in acidic medium so the primary amine product is soluble in alkali medium secondary amine product is insoluble in any of the medium or dissolved in neutral medium and the tertiary product is soluble in the acidic medium i am just trying to explain that why such things are going to happen see this is the primary amine and in the case of the primary amine whatever the product is formed that already shown here in this case why the amines are this because of the lone pair of electron and when you see this lone pair of electron it is in conjugation pi sigma pi condition as long as kya hoga इलेक्ट्रॉन पर डी लोकलाइजेशन हो जाएगा नाइट्रोजन के इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑक्सीजन पे चले जाएंगे और दोनों ऑक्सीजन के बीच में रिजोनेट करने लगेंगे इससे क्या फर्क पड़ता है इससे ये फर्क पड़ता है कि नाइट्रोजन अपने इन्हीं लोन पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन की वजह से तो बेसिक स्ट्रेंथ शो कर रहा था अब उसके पास इलेक्ट्रॉन नहीं लगे तो बेसिक तो रह नहीं गया साथ में नाइट्रोजन की इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिविटी भी बढ़ गई क्योंकि उसके साथ एक इलेक्ट्रॉन विदड्रॉइंग ग्रुप एक स्ट्रॉन्ग इलेक्ट्रॉन विदड्रॉइंग ग्रुप लग गया एज ए रिजल्ट क्या होगा नाउ दिस हाइड्रोजन दैट इज द हाइड्रोजन विच इज अटैच द नाइट्रोजन will be have like a acidic hydrogen and because of this acidic hydrogen the system will become acidic and as a result it will dissolve in a strong base that is considered as alkali so this hydrogen is acidic hydrogen so because of this acidic hydrogen the system be having like a acid and because of the acidic behavior the system will dissolve in the alkali medium but what happens in the case of the secondary compound this is the secondary one okay the reaction will take place one of the hydrogen will react with the chlorine and will form this compound now in speed of this hydrogen it will turn in the form of the alkyl that is n r now whether there is any of the acidic hydrogen acidic hydrogen raha nahi जब एसिडिक हाइड्रोजन नहीं है तो क्या सिस्टम एसिडिक होगा श्योरली नहीं होगा और बेसिक प्रॉपर्टी के लिए जो इलेक्ट्रॉन्स रिस्पॉन्स होते वो रिजोनेंस में पार्टिसिपेट कर गए सो इन दिस केस द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर नॉट अवेलेबल दैट मीन द बेसिक स्ट्रेंथ इज नॉट अवेलेबल देयर एसिडिक हाइड्रोजन इज आल्सो नॉट अवेलेबल एंड एज द एसिडिक हाइड्रोजन इज नॉट अवेलेबल सिस्टम इज नॉट एसिडिक सो इफ अ सिस्टम इज नाइदर एसिडिक नॉर बेसिक सो इट विल डिजॉल्व इट either it will not dissolve or if it is dissolved it will dissolve with the neutral system there is no any tendency to dissolve with the acidic or basic medium and this is the reason why the secondary system dissolve in neutral medium now we are going to see for the tertiary one see this is the tertiary one in the previous two cases we have seen that one of the chlorine reacts with the hydrogen and they couple up the compounds बट यहां पे तो हाइड्रोजन है ही नहीं और हाइड्रोजन नहीं है तो क्या रिएक्शन चलेगा श्योरली नहीं चलेगा देयर विल बी नो रिएक्शन जब रिएक्शन नहीं चलेगा तो ये कंपाउंड जैसा था वैसे का वैसा ही रह जाएगा दैट मींस बेसिक बाय द नेचर एंड इफ इट इज बेसिक बाय द नेचर इट विल डिजॉल्व विद एसिडिक मीडियम एंड दिस इज द रीजन व्हाई द टर्शियरी एमीन्स प्रोडक्ट व्हिच इज एक्चुअली अनरिएक्टेड सिस्टम विल डिजॉल्व विद द एसिडिक मीडियम देन दिस वाज द रीजन व्हाई द प्राइमरी डिजॉल्व विद एल्कली सेकेंडरी विद न्यूट्रल मीडियम और रिमेंस अनडिजॉल्व एंड टर्शियरी डिजॉल्व विद द एसिडिक मीडियम इट्स एनफ फॉर टुडे वी विल मीट इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो विद द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट द इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक सब्स्टिट्यूशन रिएक्शन एंड सम ऑफ द रीजनिंग एसोसिएटेड विद दीस ऑफ द टॉपिक्स एंड डाइएजोनियम साल्ट